This is Twit. The end of the day, what we're doing with Intel Sports and, and, and VR is changing the way that fans engage, interact with content. So we enable fans, we enable brands for their fans to build experiences that take fans to places that they have never been able to go before or that they can experience in an entirely new way by immersing themselves in the content. We have an end-to-end -end solution from the cameras, the production, to the streaming platform, to the end user experience that enables that for fans. So a typical event will have anywhere from three to eight cameras. A baseball game will have anywhere from three to five, so it depends on location. One of the unique things about baseball is every stadium is unique. So we have three or four camera positions that we have, generally speaking, for each, each stadium. In San Francisco today, we have cameras in each of the dugouts. Uh, when we were in Arizona, we had a camera in the pool. When we were in Boston, we had a camera literally in the Green Monster. So we'll do something that's really unique uh, for each team. Each fan can actually choose which camera angle they want to view at any given point in time. So it's a super personalized experience. Or you can lean back, click VR cast, and let the producer tell the story the way the same way you would tell any other story uh, in, in, in watching and experiencing uh, content. We actually refer to our cameras as pods because each pod actually has 12 camera lenses in it. So it's pairs of lenses, uh, 12 lenses in each one. And what it really does is mimic the human head. So wherever you're looking uh, is what you see when you're in the VR experience. Stats is such an important part of the storytelling. You look left, you see some graphics and, and stats. You look right, you see you know, picture batter data uh, and statistics. You can actually take the data and the stats and visually put them right in front of you. So between innings, you can play around with the data. And then at the end of the inning, you can throw it back to the sides. Uh, we have a virtual scoreboard. Uh, and, and, then, and then down below, we have the camera switching and the ability to move forward and backward through the, you know, like DVR type functionality throughout the experience. When we do the VR cast, we have a producer director that's producing the VR cast. And we have a pretty lean crew that comes in, sets up the cameras. All the cameras are unmanned, uh, so that makes it easy. And we have a truck uh, that sits in the bay with the other trucks, but it's a fairly small footprint. Uh, so we can get away with doing uh, really efficient uh, production. Our vision is to enable fans to experience in a virtual reality all types of different experiences. So the ability to walk on the field during the game, the ability to see the game or feel what it's like to be the game from the player point of view, the ability to sit in the owner's box, the ability to sit in the dugout and fully experience what it's like to be at the game in real time with all kinds of interactivity around you where, where you as the, as the fan can control that personalized experience.